everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome to Day 4 of Spooktober. Today we're going to be looking at a rather obscure game for the PS2. Today we're looking at Maximo, Ghost of Glory. It's basically a 3D version of Ghosts and Goblins, or Ghouls and Goblins, or Ghosts and Ghouls, or whichever, however it's called, because I've heard it being called, like, multiple different things, but... It's actually... I would say it's a rather enjoying game, but it is hard. Oh god, is it hard. It's... It's Ghosts and Goblins, the 3D game. Oh, no, we don't want the demo. I wanted to point stuff out on my own accord. I thought it was going to, like, show, like, the intro video, but I guess I have to switch to... Start a new game before I can do any of that. So, hopefully people did enjoy the Casper video, even though I did spend the better half of it bitching. It, it, it was my, somewhat my fault, because the, the you know, my TV was kind of broken, so I couldn't figure out what the, I could barely see a thing. I probably should have turned the brightness up. It was my fault, but eh, what can you do? I still fault the game because it gave me no indication of what I need to do throughout it. But enough talking about Casper, let's talk about this game. You or we'll watch it. Silence! That's enough, Achilles! You little fool! I control your kingdom now, as I control the power of the underworld! Sophia! Behold my dark power! Afraid of death? There are worse things than death. True, true. Things like that. Huh? Do you? Do you know what that is? Achilles Drill made that hole. He frees my spirits. He frees my spirits and he raises my dead for his army. What's in it for me? So. I'll return you to the mortal world. How can I trust you? How can you not trust this thing? Uh, uh, here, as proof of our contract, as long as you have this, I'll keep you alive. You must find the Sorceress's Council. They will help you. Why are you helping me? If there's no more dead, then I'm out of a job. Now go! Good luck, Maximo! Wait, how did you know my name? Oh wait, your death, I guess it kind of makes sense. You know, aside from like the ball crushing difficulty this game has to offer, the only other thing that I can think that this game is like iconic for is the fact that it's lip syncing it is that of an early 90s like kung fu movie. But finally, I'm happy we got analog controls. Uh, we got basic attacks, we got jump, we got jump, attack, heavy attack. If you listen to the music, it is actually the Ghost and Goblins music. Just like, different. I've got the key over there, see what it leads to. Um, as much as I do enjoy this game, one thing I kind of don't like is the fact that you... It's like you're skating around everywhere when it comes to, like, moving around. Hmm. Right, this. I remember, like, to a degree, that some of the chests in here, are, I believe, are mimics, and they'll attack you. But whatever. I still need to actually find a Ghost and Goblins copy. It's been kind of hard to do so, and plus, when I have seen one... Foot cheese! Only 500 coins! Spelled with a K because... Fantasy. I still need to find a Ghost and Goblins because it's... It's kind of, like, obscure, and when I have found it, it's... Really expensive. Okay, we got some armor, so we got a helmet as synopsis with the Ghost and Goblins series. But unlike Ghosts and Goblins, we have checkpoints, which we have to ground pound to activate. So now if we die, we can actually go back and... Uh, well, redo this, the save. Let's break that because I felt like getting get some money out of it. Remember, do it. I had like a shield throw. No? No, I guess I have to pick it up. Uh, yeah, the closest thing to teabagging we'll get into this game. Uh, 
We got Navi. You're in the wrong game franchise. I'm sorry. Then we got a gold key, which would open the door over there. And I'm surprised we able to run into any enemies. I guess it's sort of just like getting you started with like the whole like platforming and all that stuff. Getting you a little hand on the controls before they thrust you headfirst into combat. Knock, knock, who's home? I am. There was actually a time, like, I believe it was, like, when I first got the game, I didn't like it, because it, the art style of it kind of turned me off from wanting to play it, and, all right, for a second, I thought there was, like, anything there, but apparently not. But I was kind of, like, turned off from, like, the art style and all that stuff for playing it. It was, like, around the time I got... I believe it was Jack and Daxter 2 is when I got this game, and it took me like two, maybe three months before I'd actually can actually play it for the first time, and I, I still found it enjoyable despite its difficulty, and also the fact that I was kind of afraid of snoop supernatural things at that age. But hey, I got over it. I mean, there's worse stuff I've played. Hell, I played Casper. But uh, I like the fact that, unlike Ghosts and Goblins, it's not, not take three hits, you die. But it kind of eases you into, like, the enemies. Like, okay, we are starting you off with the basic enemies of skeletons and ghosts. And soon we'll ramp it up to guys in armor that will kick your ass. Undead alligators that will kill you in one hit. And also, apparently the world terror it's are for new. A zombie. You take three hits to kill. I want to go back and see if there's anything over here, because something tells me that there is, but knowing my luck, there isn't. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Apparently not. I don't know why that's here. Skeletons! You suck! Uh, there's some. Uh, there's tempting to go over there because there's treasure, but if I step on this, yeah, I take damage because it's it's basically like the skeleton version of spikes on the floor. Over here we got potion. How do I use I? Oh, I guess there's no like use item in this game. It's all just. Automatically useful. Hey, little secret area. Let's go check it out and see what we got. We got a gem! That's a lot of money! Now, if only I could find something that I could buy. Like, because the first thing that we could actually buy costs 500 coins, and I'm not gonna waste my money on that. Especially since it's called foot cheese, and that doesn't sound sanitary. Oh, God. Also, something I actually like is like the little waddle the skeletons do. Like, look, look at him waddle. Look at him waddle. Come on, waddle. Waddle over here. Come on, do it. No, I'm outside your area of attack. All right. Hey, come on. Hit me. Hit me. Not like that. Hit me when my shield's raised. Thank you. Come on. Look at him waddle. Look at that waddle. I need I need to make a gif of the, the skeleton waddle. Oh, God. Oh, you're a dick, gang. Do I want to sacrifice a portion of my health to go for that gem? Of course not. What have we got here? Full health, 550 coins. Nah, not really my style. But what is my style is some power-ups. Let's see. How do I use the power-ups again? Uh, was it, it wasn't D-pad. wasn't this. That's jump. Was it... Hmm. This devastating forward attack will smash most enemies. Mighty blow. Ability is lost and cannot be lost. Press for moving maximum oh, in any direction. Okay, so it's just 
basically just a forward slash. Oh god, you knocked my helmet off! You dick! Now, there is actually something I like. If you're a fan of, like, the Ghosts and Goblins games, then you'll probably know what, what's going to happen as soon as that second life bar is drained. But for those who don't know, if I actually do take enough damage, which, knowing my luck, I probably will. Come on, get up there, kick the skeleton's ass. Don't miss on the ground pound! I guess that skeleton's not going to be the thing that shows off. And also, platforming! Please don't fail me now! Hi, zombie. Hi, zombie. It's going to take me even longer to show you, unless the zombie has anything to say to me. These kind of look like Scooby-Doo Zombie Island zombies. Like, you, you can totally see it. Hi, ghost. Oh, you dick! Don't you take away my navvies? Where's the exit to the level? I want to check and see if there's anything over here first. There's a chest over there. I don't have a key for it, though, do I? Oh, go away, skeleton. Oh, apparently I do have a key for it. Ah, guess I am not going to be showing off what happens. Well, I might as well say since I, I, if I don't show it off, which I probably will at some point in one of the later levels, just not right now. But basically, once you like are on your last life bar, you're knocked into your underwear. That's what you have to use to fight over yourself around there. And even though it's not uh, as bone crushing difficult as Ghosts and Goblins is, because it was like one hit, two hit, you're dead. They do give you a little leeway. It, it, they still hit like a Dark Souls enemy. Let's take a look at the ability. Throw shield. Hurt your shield at a forward target. Throw magic shield gives you additional ability to, or attack. The caution that for each strike will reduce your shield's strength and throw the shield by pressing circle. Eh, whatever. Mission over. Let's get going. Level 2 of the Tomb Tower, and this is basically like a little overworld thing. Uh, we gotta go around to many of the different areas and f break all the obelisks in them to open up the door to the boss of the each area. A and I do like some of the names of the places and like the fact that you have to travel to the like hub area before you can like get to work on it. I do like it. It's, it gives a little sense of adventure. Let's go to Coffin Canyon. That sounds like a fun place. And we got an item right off the bat. It's armor, and it's, uh... Ah, I'm not gonna waste the money. I'm gonna take you out in... Ooh! A new ability! This chain attack allows you to battle enemies even faster! Press to... Basically, it's just a combo attack. Pretty simple stuff. You out. Is this the level that introduces mimics? And what's not? Does introduce crows though, and they're dicks. As in most games. But this isn't so much a coffin canyon as much it is a coffin precipice. Ooh, but hey, looks like we got ourselves to continue. That is good in case I get my ass kicked and I get killed, which... Knowing me, it's probably going to happen at least once in this one-off before I end it. If I, I'm almost expecting it to happen in this video. Now watch, the fact that I said I expect it, it's not going to happen. And when I least expect it, it's going to hit me like a truck. Oh, you, you fool! 
You've made a grave mistake! Uh, if I actually do turn this into a full series, the grave puns are not gonna end. Like, do you think, oh, is TBG gonna make a lot of, like, undead, spooky, ghost, grave puns? Of corpse I am. Why else wouldn't I? Towers. Come, skeleton foes! Come and let me smack you around my sword. Oh, you, 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 you thieving little rat! You thieving little rat with wings! I don't know if you can actually damage the towers. No, you can't. They just like rise and lower into the ground at these. Up, oh, mimic. That sounds like a dog for some reason. Hmm. But at least you weren't a Dark Souls mimic, or a Kid Icarus mimic. God, those things. Those were the worst. Oof. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna. Oh God. Come on, get the power up. Thank you. F flaming sword. Gonna dodge you. Actually, can I power up sword damage it? No, it can't. Of course not. Why would you give me the luxury of being able to damage things with a powered up ability? But at least with the power up sword, I think we're gonna be coming across armored, armored enemies and ghosts. Oh god. Okay, okay. This is starting to look a little canyon like. This is probably going to be a dumb idea. I am surprised I actually managed to make that. Like, all accounts of the world should have been... No. No, you shouldn't have made that, boy. Okay, something I actually do like is like the little like marching thing that the skeleton guards do. Just listen. Up two three hit up two three hit Can I open you? No I cannot. I don't have a key. Oh god. Okay, yes! The best state ever! We get to fight armies of the undead in our heart-shaped boxers. Cause you know, real men fight armies of the undead in their underwear. Come on. Come on. You down. You could really use that armor. Oh, uh, hey. Check it out. We got a key. Let's go see what's inside that thing. Shall we? Hopefully some armor. Because I could totally use it. But if I want to do something as manly as... Okay, fight zombies in my underwear. You know what? Screw it. Screw the armor. We don't need it. Especially since there's like a health vial over here. I can just use the refill the health that I lost. And a gem. And a zombie! Uh oh. Mystery! Eh, you know what? We'll take it. Silver shield! Alright. Got an upgraded shield. It has a lot more health. You know what? That's good enough in my books. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god! Three checkpoints, so if I do die, which I mostly will. Oh, what's this? What's this first? Throw shield. Uh, shield of Midas. The bearer of the Midas shield can collect treasure from hard to reach places by pressing R2. Combine with throw shield to collect treasure from great distances. Okay, cool. Uh, camera. Camera. I could totally use your cooperation right now. Oh, hi. Go away. Gotta be careful. I only got one! You- Uh-oh. Ah! Well, I said I would be dying in this playthrough. Thank God I got four more extra continues. Aside also with the extra, like, mega continue. If I lose all those lives like I just did right now, like a complete and total idiot. Do I... Uh, 
I still have my flaming sword. Do I still have my shield ability? Nah, damn it. I lost that ability. Uh. Come on. There we go. Alright. Camera. I could totally use your cooperation right now. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna have to rough it. There. Now, was that so hard, Maximo? Oh, hey. We got ourselves a continue. Ooh. Or a different coin, I don't remember. Mm. What do we have back here? We got... Com wombo combo from a skeleton and a damn crow. That wasn't nice. I forget what the navvies do. I think it's that they, if you, like, collect a hundred of... Go away! I think it's if you collect a hundred of them, then... You get an extra life, I believe? Or was it an extra chance? I don't remember. Come on! There we go. Get the key. Go away, crow. I see you there. Make our way in, and okay, we got mausoleum, mausoleum, and ooh, health vial. Something tells me they put a zombie or a skeleton to guard it. No, they didn't. I'm surprised because that would be something this game would do because it likes to be a dick. Some oh god. Gee, that giant stained glass of a zombie, hi, of a monstrosity thing totally isn't a foreshadow to a boss of this area. No, not at all. By the way, that's totally the first boss of the game. Every oh, I can actually break through these. That's cool. Screw your architecture! And that guard was none the wiser. He didn't hear me because he doesn't have ears. Oh, screw you, skeleton. I don't know what that did, but okay. Now, I remember a playthrough I did, like, earlier back, like, when I first had this game. There, you can easily get screwed in this... Okay. You can easily get screwed in this level, because one time I knocked a skeleton uh, down over the cliff edge. Now... You have to kill a certain number of enemies that are guarding, like, the obelisk at the end to exit the level. And pretty much continue on with the game. I knocked an enemy down. I think it was the skeleton with the glowing eyes that take, like, two hits and a ground pound to kill. I knocked him over the edge. He fell down there, and I had no way to make myself back. So it, there's a way you can actually halt your progress. Actually, I think it was that skeleton right there is the one that I... Glitch down there. So, no, wait, it was him. Oh god. Oh god, go away, skeletons! Come on, I'm just in my tidy whities I know you guys are kind of in your tidy whities as well, but cut a man some slack. Eh, whatever. Level done. And still 71% in level mastery. And only 8% of the game completed. Wow. Uh, I, I'm in a bad position. I'm in a really bad position right now. There's some gold. It's actually an easy grind off area. You just like go around, wait till enemies respawn, and just like bash the ever living hell out of them until they drop their gold. There's nothing here. Oh, wait. Hmm. Oh, yeah. A dick move. You have to pay a hundred coins to actually save your game. Well, good thing I don't have a memory card in this because I kind of misplaced it. Or else I'd be really angry that I couldn't save my game right now. But again, this is a one-off, not a full series. And I might turn this into a full series because I'm actually really enjoying this experience. Dead heat. 
actually would like to make it to the first boss of the game before we end it off. I'm just gonna take you out. The land that terraforms itself in my mere presence, it's that intimidated by a hero so willing to fight the undead in his underwear that the ground quakes in his mere presence. Or, I don't know where I'm going with that. But we got a key. And the key leads to chest. And, gee, that mm. totally isn't a obvious trap and mm. is a mimic that will try and bite my shin as soon as I try to open it. I would like to test that theory out, but I don't have any armor to do so. But, eh, we got some health, so that's better than nothing. Come on. No, not the battle axe. Oh, come on, game. You out. Got some health, that's nice. But yeah, I can't really. I haven't really remember why I stopped playing this game. I'm actually having a blast. Maybe it was the difficulty of level two that really like turned me on. Because I know this game gets hard in later levels. Like level two, it ramps up the difficulty to a degree. Then level three, it's just like pff, super difficult. And then there's the final boss, which is actually one of the most terrifying things put into this game. Come on, I break you. Thank you. Take the navvies. But I won't spoil it, but I'm just gonna say right now, it's actually a really, like, intimidating boss and, like, a really, like, terrifying experience. It... Hello, random chest. I just jumped out of the ground. Thank you for the armor. I'm actually really happy with that because I was really needing the armor. There's nothing there except the crow and the skeleton. I'm not gonna bother with them. But... Hmm. Oh, wow, you weren't a Mimic. That would have been, like, the most obvious place to put a Mimic, and you took the high road and didn't put one there. I'm surprised, game. Hmm. He thinks I want to jump over here and grab this stuff. I don't think so, skeleton. I'm going to Captain America the shit out of you. Can I ring the bell? Oh, come on. Damn it, I wish I could have ring the bell. Just grab the money. There we go, way through the gate to open so I can go over here. I'm gonna do with that. Eh, probably nothing, anything useful in it. Oh, oh. Oh, you're a dick, game. You are a dick! Wow, game. You're not holding back any punches. Oh, hey, look, a key. I'm going for it! And of course, you have to put a skeleton with a sword and shield in here just to anger me. How about the skeleton? Oh, three keys. Hmm. You're spoiling me, game. Zombie, navvies, and a crow. Ooh, and a sword upgrade. And a... Ah! You suck. Wow, you really are spoiling me, game. Aha! A third chance! So that's what the navvies do. What do we have here? We got ourselves... Aw, oh, man. I'm too short of seeing what that does. You know what? Hey, Crow, come here. Come on. Huh, oh, I, I forgot that you could actually see the keys on, your char on the character model. That's pretty inventive. Little things. Little things in the games I always enjoy... Go away! Yeah, one short. Alright. Only best bet is to go in... Oh, wait. There's a... 
torch right here I can just break. There we go, 150. Now let's see what that secret is. The secret of the day is... Sword charge! Wow, that, that was a complete and total waste of my money because I already had a sword charge on me. Well, I guess it refilled what, what sword charge I used. Huh, no wonder they've been giving me so many keys. I am decked out. Nothing here? Of course not. Alright, Captain America to... I said, I was gonna Captain America to... Alright, fine, don't play by my game. Skeleton. And be a dick about it, then fine, I'm not gonna t kill you the fun way. First person, I'd like to know how to do that, and I can't because that's only for looking around and not for attacking. I just know for a fact that this skeleton's gonna. Okay, guess he doesn't fall off here. Thank you, game, for not making enemies do that to you. Will Captain America you, though? Oh, hello. I'll destroy you so you stop spitting out enemies, and I don't know what that did. Uh-oh. Okay, how do you block in this game? Yeah, whatever. Come on. Look this way. Camera! Thank you. Go over here, grab the key. Go away! Jeez. Skeletons are so inconsiderate of where they just like to pop up. They think they own this whole graveyard. Tells me I'm not going to be able to make that jump, but not the part of me says, screw it! Ooh, what do we have here? We got that other thing. What's this ability? Magic bullet. An enhanced sword can fire a magic bullet at enemies. That would have been nice to know, game. Thank you for not telling me. Wow, that is really useful. What is it? Why did this... Why did the statues shooting skulls out sound like bongos? Uh -oh. The key. Come on, come on, die. And, okay, we just lost our magic missile to dispel the darkness. Zombie. I see the drop in. Gee, that totally isn't a head that just popped out of no. Right now. God. Is this gonna be a running thing with this video? Is the fact that I'm always gonna like run into the coffins that pop up? Cause it's looking like it. Oh. Oh. I'm surprised I made it in one piece. It's open. Open her up, and I think we're at the end of the level. I think the obelisk is in one of the mausoleums here. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna destroy you so I don't have to worry about you dicks anymore. Now, where's the ghost? Oh, hi. Good. Hmm. That's a mimic. Not good. Down, boy. God, the way its tongue just like literally like wiggles out of its mouth, it's creepy. No one might like to. There's gonna be a skeleton sleeping in one of these. I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be the last one. Oh, I guess my luck is wrong. Can I have this luck more often, game? Yeah. 
would like to know. Oh, there's a ghost. Oh god. Ghosts go away. I have no idea where he went because the camera is not that helpful in this game, sadly. Hmm. Armor. Armor and money. Well, no armor, but money and the key. Hmm. Armor? Please? Nope, just the key and skeletons. But I got the one two punch. Uh, whatever. If I do die, then the checkpoint's right there, and I can just immediately come back with armor. Hmm. I'm surprised this level's been going on for as long as it has. I would have expected it to end sooner. No, my navvies! Go away. Oh, you... Go away! Jeez! What did I just get? I don't know. A. Wait. Game, you are really trying my patience. Ah, oh, game, you're a dick. But hey, at least I finally got some armor. Do the enemies respawn? I don't remember. Yes, they do. So, oh man, I gotta go through all this again? That's right, Skeleton. Waddle as if your life depended on it, which it kinda does. Now, that makes me think. Does the money respawn? Duh. Respawn. Apparently it doesn't. Well, alright then. Hmm. Just open her up. The chest in here responds. Hmm. And all the money in it. Oh, so it's weird that the money in the open world doesn't respawn, but the chests do. Hmm. Eh, eh, whatever. Let's just get our keys, kill our skeletons, and get the hell out of here, because I didn't realize the level was going to take as long as it did, or else I w wanted to... Oh, God. Hi, ghost. Bye, ghost. I wanted to fight the first boss in this video, but nah, sadly, I think we're gonna end it right after we find the obelisk to this level. If we find it without me getting myself killed again. Where'd you come from? Down, boy! Gonna have to deal with another one of you undead assholes. Yes, I am. Go away. That takes care of one. That takes care of two. And my money's on. This is a mystery. Nope, full health. Hmm. I don't need it. Oh, platforming this game is a little finicky. Aha! I am a master platformer. Oh, come on, go away. Ah, the running gag seems to never end. Zombie. You mind? Hmm. Okay, so spin the thing, you do spin the thing. That's nice to know. Wish the game would have taught me that, but eh, whatever. I guess it's more fun to learn it on your own. Done with you dicks. 
And done. Oh, that's it. I've come too far. I'm at the end goal. I'm not gonna let you two double team me into submission. That sounded dirtier than I made it wanted to make it sound, but whatever, you get my point. I've come too close to fail now. Well, at least it wasn't 71% this time. Alrighty then. Now I can always come back to these levels in case I would like want to go 100% with them, but I don't think it's necessary to. Wow. Hello, Red Pan. Oh, okay, okay. Apparently this is a Mortal Kombat skeleton because he's doing that one character's move where he just teleports right behind you while crossing his arms like he's very disappointed in you. Anything over here? Lots of fog. Treasure chest. That grave. Alright. Well, I think that is gonna do it for this part video. So, if you enjoyed this video, then leave it down in the comments. If you liked it, then please, by all means, leave it a like as well. If you would like to see this become a full series at some point in time, then please, by all means, let me know. The feedback always helps encourage me to want to turn these into full series videos. And I will see you all next time. Later.